Hello, beloved. Welcome to your message. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are keen or interested in booking me for a reading or a one-on-one -on -one session, you'll find my email listed on the screen. Let us begin with your message from God and take a look at what he has in store for you at this time. We have the world, okay, the eight of pentacles, okay, as well as the death, okay, powerful, wow. Mm. So with this world um, energy showing up first, I'm getting, I'm seeing, you know, you've been working on yourself. You've been putting in a lot of hard work and dedication into yourself, um, into your overall evolution. I see you have went as far as cutting all ties with those who no longer serve you, no matter how much you loved the people, how hurt, how much it hurts you. Okay, I see that you've done all that you've done um, in obedience. With this Eight of Pentacles, I see here that the work and dedication that you've placed upon yourself has improved the quality of your life drastically. It's like you've seen drastic changes since you've been putting in the work, drastic changes in your mental health, physical health, um, your love life, okay? It's like when you apply what you know, when you apply um yourself towards being a better person when you apply your wisdom to help others and empower and strengthen and heal it all comes back to you is what i'm hearing okay beloved it all return it it's like all that you've done is now returning back to you at this time and with this death card it's like it's coming in heavy nice and hot okay and it's coming in to serve you so all of these things that you've sent out are now returning, but in a form of service. So with this death card, Scorpio energy in this season of Scorpio that we're in, I see you are transforming and you've transformed greatly here. It's like your, um, your difference in who, the difference in who you were and who you are now is very big. Um, it's something that cannot be ignored, something that cannot be downplayed or overlooked here. I see that you've transformed, okay? Your ancestors have cleansed you, purified you, working so hard to heal you, better you, and, you know, apply you into the right direction of life. And I see that that has not only catered to you spiritually, but that spiritual care that you've been receiving is also showing in the 3D, in the reality, Okay, it shows in all you do and all you are. It shows in your presence and your likeness and your aura and your essence. Because this is what your ancestors work on every night when you go to bed. Okay, you wake up with a higher level of being every day. <clears throat> and with this death card, I see... Um, there have been people denying you of the credit and the acknowledgement that you deserve, okay? And what this is saying is that, what this means is that there have been people pretending not to see you, pretending that you don't impact them, that you don't influence them, that you don't inspire them, being in hiding and in secret. It's just like secrecy of who you are to them. They've been withholding. The throat chakra has been blocked. No one has been honest with who you are to them and how they really feel about you and the role you have played and are playing in their life. It's like there are people in secret here that you don't know, but you are keeping them afloat here. You are literally keeping these people afloat, when meaning that you know you are 
the reason they hanging on this could be because of the inspiration okay they give from you the empowerment they receive from you from you um the role you play in their lives who you are into in the world you know who you've become beloved it's like it's all so good but the bad thing about it is the only bad thing is that people are hiding that fact they're hiding who you are to them and keeping it to themselves it's like they're hiding it and they're keeping it to themselves i see here that people gatekeep you they gatekeep your influence on them the inspiration that they get from you you know it's all just they gatekeep it and with this world, they gatekeep it because it's something unlike they've ever seen in the world, okay? It's not something that they can replace immediately or something that they can come up with as well. It's not a, it's, there's no match to you or to what you bring to the table. So how it is received by the world is people try to hoard it and hold on to it because they don't want others to find that out, to find you, to seek you. Because they know that you're going to be more than what they want you to be too big you know you have people that still want you to to stay where you are because you know they don't want you to be way out of their reach here they still want to reach you somehow in any way that they can but i'm seeing that this is your purpose is bigger than you okay your purpose is bigger than you and i see that you know these people they gatekeep because they're also jealous and envious of others falling in love with you like it's like these people have firsthand seen your influence on others they most probably seen or heard you know of it seeing how people easily just fall or gravitate towards you want to listen to you and want to cater to you they see how you are the one that has the impact you are the one that just you do it right you know and to a certain extent these people acknowledged that in respect right they were like you know acknowledging it in respect until they got too comfortable with it they got too comfortable with it in such a way that they began to forget to treat you with respect here these people began to be very comfortable with you too comfortable okay and your ancestors didn't like that like your ancestors were like yo what you thinking getting comfortable with you know her with him like just know your place you know it's like oh now, now you're just crossing the line just chill you know this was your ancestors behind the scenes them witnessing people's behaviors towards you, hearing conversations you're not hearing, being in rooms you're not in, you know, backing you up within that regard, bringing you back insight, wisdom, and knowledge to equip you so that you know how to move when others think they fooled you. So these people have thought that they fooled you for a long time with this secrecy and the fact that they, they're not treating you the way you deserve, the way, the way you deserve in such a way that who you are, it's who you are. You treat, you'll get treated as who you are, okay? These people don't want to give you that respect. They didn't for a long time because they felt like it was not owed to you. Like, at first they were fighting the fact that you were the one inspiring them. Why, they were questioning like, why did it have to be you, you know? And why do you deserve that credit? That's why they were comfortable keeping it to themselves because it just didn't make sense to them why they should give you that. <clears throat> why they should respect you within that regard and why they should, you know, honor you too and value you properly. And, you know, until it got to a point where now they needed you okay so they look at you as a resource someone who they turn to when they can they want new creativity new ideas new wisdom you know they they when they want direction when they want to tap in to know like what's the current energy so that they utilize that in their world okay they use you as the blueprint to all of that beloved they use you as the blueprint to kind of pave the way in their reality and that's a big sorry there's a fly going around and it's pretty annoying this is an annoying energy i'm picking up on here okay it's like these people cannot stop courting your energy they cannot stop watching you but they're not honoring you the way they should they're not treating you right they're not acknowledging you and they're not you know 
it's like they they still just try and disrespect you <clears throat> they still try and bring you down <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> They still try and hold you back. They still lie on your name when others, you know, speak on you. They're the ones that want to formulate a negative narrative to uphold in the eyes of others who have a good narrative to uphold of you. It's like in a room or it, maybe there are three people and the two, there are two people who, who love you and have good things to say, but there's that one person there's a lot of good things to say about you, but because they hate you, they will not say anything. They will say something that will make others hate you too, those other two people. I'm getting that type of energy, very spiteful, very low vibrational people here. It's like they didn't want to see you in that lens. They, they, they did not want to acknowledge that you were really who you were, but they were not, they were not too shy and, and, and embarrassed to go and, and look you up on Instagram or TikTok or any social media platform and look at what you're doing and say, I want to utilize that in my work. I'm taking this idea or I'm utilizing it in this way. They don't, that's easy. That comes easy. The hard part comes when they have to give you your credit and earn and, and, and give you your respect. Okay. The hard part comes when they have to take acknowledgement that you are the key, you are the blueprint. Okay. That's what pisses your ancestors off because these people are utilizing what they know and projecting it into their reality as they own. That's what's making this so messed up. They're projecting this to be their own. It's like a, a, an entitlement of what they claim to be theirs, but it's, it's nothing that they could ever even come up with, even if they tried. Concepts, ideas, you know, creative spark, endeavors, you know, things of that sort that they could not even tap into because they never on that vibration. You're the one that offers that. You bring that into the world and they just feed into it. And then they feed others. But it is all linked to you. It starts with you. You're the stem. Okay. Okay. And because you're the stem, beloved, it starts with you and it will end with you. If you have a YouTube channel or you have an online presence somehow, Whenever you release something out into the world, how it gets received is in a way of how you would receive something that has been declared to be history. Let me explain this to you. See, in the world, there are stories that are told to us that have been here before we were born, stories that we've perceived to be history, you know, history of humankind here, something that's significant, you know, and they, when you bring out your own energy into the world through your online presence, it gets received within that likeness as a blueprint, as history in the making, legendary status, okay? Things that people, this is, you know, work that, quality work that needs to be respected, uh, okay? Quality ideas, quality wisdom, quality knowledge, things that people respect. And I feel like, these people that don't don't um these people that are in secrecy okay they don't want people to look at you only in respect okay it's like they feel as though if they give you acknowledgement their crowd or you know the people in their world are going to start to embrace you more okay they feel like you would have that leverage you would have that power you would have you would have that um impact and that influence and this is what creates this blockage of them not wanting to you know pay their respect here we have the seven of cups and the nine of wands hmm. interesting so hmm, this is very interesting yeah I got that. Okay, so two of wands, six of wands. The Empress. So with the Seven of Cups energy, it's like I see that when 
when these people go back behind closed doors, okay, when they're off the screens, when they're not at work, when they're not in the public place, entertaining the crowd and playing the role and being, you know, this person that they try to portray themselves to be, when they're not playing the role in the external world and they go back behind closed doors, they come to you, okay? They come to you in spirit, in energy, in thought, okay? It just all leads to you. So whenever they're about to put uh, whenever they're about to put out something into the world, they think of what you are putting out into the world first and how what they're putting what they're putting out needs to align to what you're putting out. Because what you're putting out is facts, what you're putting out is right, what you're putting out is the way, what you're putting out is something that is relevant to the truth. Okay, in some way, shape, or form, what you put in out is quality. What you put in out, there's nothing else like it. So these people, they go back behind closed doors. Their plans and plots are linked directly to, you know, and their strategies, they link directly to what you put out to the world in whatever way. They want to either do better, try to match it, try to exceed it, try to take it and make it theirs, okay? There's different narratives people you know, formulate in their reality through what they take from you, though. You know, they take it from you, beloved. They take it from you. And it's like, when you don't put anything out, they don't feel comfortable doing so either. When you're not doing something, they don't want to do it either. It's like, they want to hear it being said by you first, being done by you first, being, 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 you know, spoken of by you first. They want that. Because with this nine of wands, I see you've been putting a lot of work within yourself, beloved, okay? And with this nine of wands energy, it's kind of like the work you've been putting into yourself is spiritual. It's not work that anyone can see with eyes, but it's earned you the rank, it's earned you in the spiritual realm, okay? As above, so below. So your rank in the spiritual realm has been declared upon to be what it is of the highest of the high okay to be of the most influential the most impactful the most loved the most cherished the most valued this is what you've been declared to be in the spiritual realm and as i said as above so below so all of that glory is being passed down to you in the 3d in your reality so you're about to see it unfold so scorpio season is going to gift you with a little bit of vanity moments okay you're going to be really feeling yourself you know, you're going to be really feeling this embrace, feeling this um, this influence that, you know, you have been blessed with this glory. You're going to feel it come down. It's going to make you feel so powerful. You know, it's going to spark up new ideas, new, new endeavors, newness within you, new reality, a new life, a new perspective, okay? It's like it's going to change your, your life. This is going to transform you. Moving on to the Two of Wands and the Six of Wands. It's like before anyone, you know, makes a decision, any one of these people, they want to make sure that that decision will be declared upon by you first. So it's like they want to make sure that, you know, they please you or it, 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 it catches your eye or it makes sense to you or you, you know, it's like a lot of people seek validation through you, beloved. It's like a word from you could change your whole life here. That's how much impact and influence you have over somebody or over certain people or over or how much authority and how much of a position God has granted you to be and how much glory is being bestowed upon you is that big, okay? It has the power to change lives, okay? With this emperor, you've been bestowed upon, you know, with this authority, with this position, with this seat, with this throne, okay? I see that, you know, you're going to be appreciated for the remainder of November. Expect that. It's like everything is going to come together, you know. And when it comes together, you're going to get recognition, like specifically that. This could be more views, subscribers, and likes, comments, okay? More, more influence in your online presence, more influence in your work, more influence in what you put out to the world, you know, you're going to have more influence in, in your reality, in your world, in the people in it. 
you're going to have uphold a different reputation, different caliber of image. You know, you're going to vibrate on a different frequency. This is what is being, um, this is what is happening in your life, okay? This is what the glory that is being poured upon your life is bringing you, you know, a new, a newfound life here, a newfound way of living, a newfound way of looking at yourself. I see you looking at yourself in the mirror with very different, with a very different perspective. You know, seeing how you've grown, seeing how you've evolved, seeing how much you've healed, seeing how much of things no longer affect you the way they did. Just acknowledging the purity that has come from your death so far, okay? Your evolution, your spiritual rank, your spiritual path and journey. So, there's specific... Okay, this... Okay, the hermit, okay? There's specific... Um, these people that are in secrecy with regards to your influence and your impact, they watch you a lot, okay? They analyze you, they study you, and when they study you, you empower them. When they study you, they feel more alive. When they study you and they look at you and they, they feed into your energy, it just brings them a sense of... It's like a feeling that they can they cannot find anywhere, even with a drug, even with another person, even with the it's like it's your own individual identity that brings upon this feeling in people. And that's where they will always seek it from, beloved. Understand that from you, the source, okay? We have the strength. Okay, with the strength card, no one embodies what you embody, okay? Not, not the likeness, not the brains, not the beauty, not the spiritual rank. It's like in your reality and in your world, beloved, you are an, an, indivi you are an individual. You carry this identity individually. When you come to prophetic vessel, we are carrying this as one, okay? But in your world and your reality, you carry it alone with great courage. I'm seeing that as much as it's easy right now for people to want to use spirituality as a way out of their life, want to tap in and 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 hide the facades with the, with spiritual with spirituality you know we want to hide the bad that they do with crystals you know it's like as much as now this is becoming a scapegoat you will always be looked at as the original okay page of voices these people know they know who you are they know they know it all, okay? They've watched you from the beginning. You've had this influence from the beginning. It's just being amplified. It's just being heightened. It's being transformed. It's being evolved. It's being broadened. It's being spread, okay? It's increasing in, in its form, okay? But it's been there to begin with. You've just... It's like you've just... As much as, you know, in the, in the beginning it's been there, and the people that you excuse me, influencing and impacting and inspiring were there too. They treated you differently back then is what I'm getting. They treated you differently back then, how they would look at you, how they would want to understand you. They, some of them might have had it out for you. They just didn't want to give you your credit, man. They would rather like, you know, take all that they take from you and then go, go you know, pretend with others and say they don't like you or, or just talk ill on you or put you down in some way, shape or form in whatever way that they can. Okay. And I see that with this page of voices, these people have been watching you for a long time. And what they are seeing is something that is triggering them because it's making them feel this then they feel like they're not doing enough with their life. They feel like things are not moving forward the way they should. They have taken upon your glory and identifying it with theirs when they've never even walked your path. Now that is a mistake, okay? These people are misinformed here, uh, especially with this high priestess. They misinformed because of your silence. I'm getting you don't speak to anyone. <laughs> you don't speak to anyone, beloved. You don't really, you don't say nothing. You don't say much. You don't say anything at all. You keep to yourself. You're very reserved. You have high emotional intelligence. This high rank brings you a high tranquil. And someone with high rank, they don't speak much. What are you going to say, you know? Really? I feel you, you know. Your silence, it confuses these people. It, it, it's the reason these people don't know you. 
you know, it's the reason of it all, the silence, the power of it. So just grasp that for a moment. If you're in a situation where you feel like you need to re- respond back to someone, redeem yourself, or you want to have someone, you want to check someone, you want to put someone in their place, like, this is your message to just shut up. That's all. Don't say anything to anyone. Ever. Okay? You don't need to explain what you know, what you've been through. You don't need to explain anything. Your silence is your power. Chill. Literally. That's what your ancestors want you to do. They want, to, they want you to chill. Because I see here that because of the light that you carry, a lot of people want to intimidate you. A lot of people will try to test you. A lot of people try to shake you, shake your foundation. They want to test, man, who is this? Man, this is, what is, you know, it's like something that has never been heard of before. And scientists, they discover it, they're going to dissect it in every way because they don't know what it is. It's, it's outworldly. It's never been seen. It's never been heard. It's, it's new. You know, it's something big. It's something impactful, spiritual, and something of a very high rank that is not tapped into by many, you know. I'm being called to end it here, my love, okay? This was your message. I really hope this helped you and that this was of significance to your life. If you were keen or interested in booking me for a one-on-one session or a reading, um, I have my email listed on the screen for you. I offer ancestral messages, prophetic and intuitive messages, um, dream interpretation, love um, readings, as well as spiritual path readings. And for the one-on-one sessions, I offer those via Skype, Zoom call, video call, as well as FaceTime. I'm sending you nothing but love. Okay, beloved, until next time, hope this helped you. Bye.